Hey, the math fans, uh, many months ago I made a video about how the rational numbers are countable. I'll put a link to that in the description here. Do please check that out. I think it's a really interesting thing. But for me, it, it always I think about this almost every day when I'm doing my work. <laughs> so I thought this would be an appropriate place to start my video series on teaching faculty issues. So, you know, there's things I do each week, teaching, office hours, uh, committee meetings that take chunks of time. And there's things where I have like a long list, emails uh, at any given time. I have a lot. I teach about 480 students a quarter, you know, three and a half times as many as most the typical, you know, tenure faculty. The volume is huge and it's gotten bigger. Discussion board, letters of recommendation, I currently have 24 on my list. So each day I'm like, if I just sit down and do email, I won't finish and I won't get to these other things. So what do I do? <laughs> And that gets me to think about the following. So if you don't know, we say a, a list, a, a set is enumerable or countable if you can line it up with the list one, two, three, four. Now, the rational numbers, all of the fractions, you would think is a much larger set. In fact, I'll show you it here in a second. So here's all the fractions between zero and one of smallest denominator. This is called the fairy sequence. I made this when I was doing a video on batting averages and fractions, I put a little tick mark if a fraction appeared more than once. It's dense. So how in the world are we gonna line these up? And the answer is you make a little table like this and you put them in the following order. You diagonalize, we say. So then you write one over two next and then you write two over one. I'm not saying they're in numerical order. I'm just saying we are gonna list every single one. If you get to a repeat like this, you just don't list it three over one, the sixth thing is gonna be one over four, and you go on forever. If you tried to list it by just going this way forever, you would never finish. So you need to diagonalize. <laughs> and every number is in there. 77 over 101 is in there. It'll be in the seventh, the seventh row and the 101st column. So the answer to my problem is I should diagonalize, but I've never been able to effectively do that. <laughs> <laughs> and there's not enough time in a week. So tell me what you think of that. There's my introduction to teaching faculty issues.